all right everybody we are back two weeks later we are heading in to camera number four to from the last time we're gonna do them in reverse this time so we're two weeks out so we're gonna check these cards see if uh, we got any good pictures of some bears some bucks so welcome back to reflection outdoors find us on Facebook and Instagram give us a like and a follow and uh, we get into the camera I'll download the images and we will uh, be posting them on this video so we'll be back all right we're done with camera number four pleasantly surprised to uh see that one little photo shoot by the blondie pretty neat to see a uh, blonde color phase up here we don't get to see blondes very often so pretty good sized bear a little scraggly because it's summertime but another uh two three weeks before the season so hopefully that one will be sticking around in this area um, i know blake really really likes that bear so hopefully we can get him on that one i'm sure he's going to want to sit up in this uh this little area see if he can't get on it so anyway stay tuned and we're going to go hit up camera number three all right all right we are back we are currently walking into camera number three from two weeks ago this is one of our top spots that we like right by the uh, bedding area that i showed you in the last video if you guys haven't seen the last video go check it out it shows our initial setup for these cameras and as you can see today we got blake and we got mama hiding back there so doing the family scouting today so hopefully just like the last camera we'll have a few pictures for you guys so stay tuned while we get into get into this camera back here all right all right well i'll be honest that was a little disappointing to say the least um that camera for some reason didn't take any photos um and there was definitely some track fresh track moving through there so don't know what's up with that camera um, but we will leave it there kind of reset it and hopefully come back in a couple weeks we'll see some photos otherwise we're gonna have to tear that camera down and see what's going on with it but we'll give it two more weeks and hopefully uh this time it'll pick up some game i know some stuff moved through there so question of what looks like some deer track not sure on the other stuff but a little disappointing so anyways on to the next camera I'm gonna go check out camera number two which uh, is in the location where we killed one of the bears last year so we're kind of hoping we'll get some photos of some new bears so stay tuned all right everybody we're walking down this little skid road into camera number two it appears some of our local cattle which are out here on this forest land have decided to come down this little skid road so we will see if we have pictures of game or cattle. 
So hopefully the cattle didn't waste space on our cart, but it happens every year. The cattle are up in here and uh, usually they don't hang out in this area, but apparently this year they moved in. So hopefully they've moved out because I do not want pictures of cattle all day and I don't want them disrupting what possibly could be in this area, which is some good bucks and bears. So, anyways, I'm gonna walk in here. Oop, some deer track, which is good. So apparently, there are some deer working back in here. And uh, haven't seen any bear tracks in here yet, though. So. We're going to take a little stroll back here to this camera and uh, we'll check up with you after we check the card and give you an update. Till then, see ya. All right, well, that was exciting. Definitely uh, better than expected on that camera. We've got, uh, look like, saw that doe and the fawns, which is cool. Really, really nice bear. Another nice bear working the area. Look like a good boar. He's a little light right now, but you can tell by the pictures, he's got good muscle structure and definitely a good size. So that's neat. And then obviously one really nice buck came through one night. So hopefully he'll be hanging in this area. Look like it's gonna be a nice, uh, wow blaze the trail through here. Lots of animals moving in here. Um, hard to tell by the photos, but looks like it might be a uh, four point. Uh, definitely had good front forks. It looks like it might be forking off on the back sides, but uh, a little tough to tell. I mean, it was middle of the night, so hopefully we uh, can get some more photos of them here soon. Hopefully some daylight photos, but uh, Anyway, pretty excited on that camera. Pumped up about that. This little area is apparently starting to become a little honey hole. So, anyways. All right. On to the next camera. I think we uh, might stop at camp in between. Just check it out. Show, uh, show the wife our new camp spot because we are moving camps from last year. Pretty much right across the road but should be a little bit more shaded so i'll give you a little panoramic view when we get to camp and uh we'll see you then all right everybody well we have arrived at camp so i'll give you a little panoramic that's basically right back there is where the trailer will sit all right and got nice trees Good shade all the way around. We'll just bring the trailer right down this little skid here and should be very nice. Um, we're just moving camp. We were across the other side of the road, probably about a hundred yards away. And we decided to move across to this side because some lovely individual last winter decided to drive through camp, spin donuts, and make a bunch of ruts in the road where we camp, well, actually right where the trailer was. So we're moving across the way and looks like here comes the truck down the road, making a bunch of dust. There they go. So anyways, um, this will be our camp, Archery Camp 2020. We will be here about three weeks. All right. We'll catch you guys on camera number one here in a few minutes. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're heading into camera number one, last camera of the day. 
So hopefully we'll have some more good pictures for you. It's been uh, very nice, pleasantly surprised so far with all of our cameras, except for of course the one that decided not to take pictures. But uh, so far so good for trail cams for the 2020 season. We've been able to find some bears, uh, found one really nice buck so far. So hopefully this last camera will uh, show us more of what we're looking for. So um, walking down here, I'm definitely seeing quite a bit of deer track coming right down to where this camera is. So hopefully, um, and it uh, appears to be a, a buck, which <laughs> would certainly be nice. So um, this is the little clear cut area that we set one in. Um, and we've never really hunted back here, but we know that there's quite a bit of movement back here from last year. We kind of walked in and were pleasantly surprised and uh, we bumped a couple bears out of this area last year. So I'm um, just trying to figure out what's coming through this spot and uh, we might concentrate down here a little bit more. It's a little bit lower elevation, but um, quite a bit of feed in here. Some oak trees are filtered in, so probably some, should be some acorns dropping soon. So hang in there and we'll check the camera. All right, well, that was a nice little surprise right there. My last camera, which is camera number one. A couple does and a fawn, and then uh, one nice buck about a week ago. Looks like uh, he's at least gonna grow into be a three point. He's pretty, pretty thick on that that front the fronts there and he looks like he's gonna be pretty wide out in front got a really nice shape to him um, so hopefully we'll be able to see him again and see what he kind of turns into so all in all uh can't say we have any complaints everything's looking good so far so I'm just going to keep all these cameras where they're at. We'll be back in a couple weeks. Check them again. Make sure that uh, we still got animals moving through those areas. Um, I really think it's only going to get better from here until the opener. Um, all the berries are starting to come in here, which is good for... Uh, for the bears all the choke cherries and all that good stuff so looks like there's more bear moving into the area which is good and uh, looks like a few nice boars maybe and we've got a few nice bucks so positive vibes going into the archery season here in norcal so just uh stay tuned remember find us on facebook and instagram reflection outdoors Give us a like, give us a share to your friends. And once again, thanks to Rapto Razor, uh, being we are newly pro staff with them. So we'll be putting their knives and their skinners, a big game skinner, to test, hopefully here soon, once we get into archery. And uh, we'll definitely have some fishing videos coming up too. Salmon season just opened up on our local rivers so in between the archery hunting we'll be getting out on the river and hopefully showing you guys some norcal river salmon so anyways all right everybody thanks for watching once again follow us on youtube subscribe find us on instagram find us on facebook reflection outdoors We'll see you soon.